So here I'm back again in my Citrus receiver to get adapt. This time I want SPSS. So click on that and let that load. Okay, so SPSS is opened. Um, let's have a look at this. Let's go for says what encoding, I'm happy with using the encoding. Right, this page you call opens up and everything. So if you've got stuff you'd recently done, it would appear here and you could open it, but we're going to put in new data, so we'll just cancel that. So, let's full screen this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you're in what we call data view. So if you come down here, you can see you've got data view and variable view. Data view is the one that you want at this point, and we are going to open some data. So, file, open data. Yep, I have it read and write. That just means I can get it from my local computer if I wanted to. But anyway, remember where did I save it? I saved in data, so I double click data, go there, and it's not there. So why is it not there? Yes, it's there because I've done this before, but you really want in that Excel spreadsheet because it doesn't know to look for Excel spreadsheets yet. So you need to let it know. So click this down, so Excel, and now it appears. You click on the batch you've just done and you click open. So it comes up with this and it's basically saying, are the variable names in the first row of the data? Yes, that first row said weight and, and group. And it wants us to take sheet one of the Excel using this data. That all looks good. You can ignore the rest and click OK. And it's done. You've now got this data view and you can see the column names are right, weight and group. Here's the stuff, you can flip down, all looks pretty good. We've got 45 entries which matches. All good so far. So, what should we do now? Well, the problem is, remember when we discussed it, we know that weight is a quantitative continuous random variable, control is a nominal categorical variable. We have to make sure that SPSS knows that because depending on what it thinks these variables are, it's gonna do different stuff. And we wanna make sure it does the right stuff. So click on variable view. We have a look, so weight, it says it's a numeric, it's these is how many decimals, etc. it's doing. So if you wanted more decimals, you could put say four decimal places here. Labels we'll get to in a later prac. The main thing is you want to come all the way here and this is what type of random variable it thinks it is. And you want to make sure that it thinks that this one is nominal. It thinks it's a string and it's nominal and this one is a scale. So scale is this word for quantitative random variables. And then when it comes to categorical random variables, it has the two sorts, ordinal or nominal. We want nominal because there isn't a natural ordering to these things. So that 